In step 7 of exercise number 6, you will see how making changes to the iMachining data has an effect on an operation and the technology wizard. First, the focus will be on the machine database and the steps necessary to either select a different machine or make changes to the current machine definition. To select a different machine, you must go to the CAMPART definition. In the Solid Cam Manager, double-click the CAMPART header. The Milling Part Data dialog box is displayed. Under Machine Database in the iMachining Data area, Haas SS New, which was created during exercise number one, is currently the default machine. If you click the drop-down menu, a list of machine files saved on the system will be displayed. For the purpose of this exercise, select Haas SS for the new default machine. To save the changes to the CAMPART data and close the Milling Part Data dialog box, click OK. The Solid Cam Manager is displayed. Due to the machine database changes, you can see that all iMachining operations in the CAM tree are no longer synchronized as indicated by the asterisk. For the purpose of this exercise, right click the first iMachining operation, iRough Outside Shape, and select Calculate from the menu. As the calculation runs externally, Solid Cam will prompt you that the iMachining data has changed and the operation must be edited for changes to take effect. Click OK. To edit the operation, double click iRough Outside Shape. The Synchronize with Operation dialog box appears and asks if you would like to turn the wizard on or off. Leave the default selection of Yes, Wizard On, to write the output cutting data to the operation. Click the Finish button. When the iMachining Operation dialog box is displayed, switch to the Technology Wizard page to view the cutting conditions. In the Output Cutting Data section, looking at View 1 and View 2, the following sets of data are now provided based on the selection of a different machine. Now that the operation is synchronized with the Output Cutting Data values generated by the wizard, the operation must be recalculated. Click Save and Calculate to save the data to the operation and calculate the toolpath. It is important to note that making changes to the current machine definition will also have an effect on an operation and the technology wizard. For example, close the iMachining Operation dialog box with the Exit button. Then, double-click the CAMPART header to display the Milling Part Data dialog box. In the iMachining Data area, click the Edit iMachining Database button to display the iDatabase dialog box. The Machine DB page of the iDatabase dialog box enables you to edit the parameters of existing machine files saved on the system. Changing the Spindle Speed Max, Feed Rate Max, and Spindle Power Max will have an effect on the output cutting data values generated by the wizard. Changing the machine default level will position the slider to the machining level assigned to the machine, unless the tool used for the operation has its own assigned default level. Click Save and Exit to close the iDatabase dialog box. Then, click OK to close the Milling Part Data dialog box. In the Solid Cam Manager, double-click iFinish Outside Shape to edit the operation. The Synchronize with Operation dialog box is displayed. If you do not want any output cutting data written to the operation, set the radio button to No Wizard Off. You can turn the wizard back on at any time. Click the Finish button. When the iMachining Operation dialog box is displayed, switch to the Technology Wizard page. The wizard will still calculate any new output cutting data, but the feed and spin rates, as well as the step down and cutting angles in the operation will remain unaffected. To turn the wizard back on, click the red light button at the upper right corner of the iMachining Operation dialog box. The light turns green to indicate that the wizard is on. Turning the wizard back on will sync the output cutting data with the operation. And as you can see, the lock icons reappear in the areas that are controlled by the wizard. On the Technology Wizard page, 
All cutting conditions are automatically reset to the defaults when going through the sync process. Now that the operation is synchronized with the output cutting data values generated by the wizard, the operation must be recalculated. Click Save and Calculate to save the data to the operation and calculate the toolpath. Close the iMachining Operation dialog box with the Exit button. Because the iMachining data has changed, all iMachining operations must be edited, synchronized, and recalculated for the changes to take effect. At this stage, changes to the machine database were shown having an effect on an operation and the technology wizard.